Good evening, everyone. My name's Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and welcome back to Free Software Friday. My name's, uh, well, sorry, my name's Heath Haskins, of course. Um, this day, this episode, we are going to be talking about Unity 3D. Is it Unity 3D or is it just Unity? I think it's just Unity now, right? Anyhow, if you want to get into gaming, if you want to get into programming, Unity is the place to start. For you sitting there right now and you're like, oh man, I had this idea for a game. Go here now. Write down your idea, but go here now and get this, okay? This is absolutely free for individuals. If you become a business or enterprise or like you start making a lot of tons of money, then you'll have to pay for it. You'll have to pay for the like the enterprise licenses and stuff like that. But for now, as you're learning, turn that down just a little bit. There we go. As you're learning, go here. This is the page that you're going to be presented with and there's get started, get started right there. If you're wanting to go straight into learning, you can jump over here. Make sure you have the Unity program first. If you don't, click on get started. Um, this is going to present you with the business plan because it's still a corporation and they still want to make money. So that's your different licenses. $150 for the Pro, $40 for the, the this one. And if you look, this is key, okay? Because I didn't realize this. Dark Theme UI is not available for individual use. <laughs> I'm like, wait, what? When did dark UIs become a feature that you have to pay for? I don't understand. Anyhow, there's talk of it, them actually releasing it so you can use it. Sorry, I'm rambling. Um, there is a student version. So if you go over to the GitHub and you get verified, you will be eligible to get the dark, uh, the dark theme UI. I'm not a student anymore. I can't get this version, but it has unlimited access to the learning premiums and it's got a whole bunch of different things for you as a student. Um, check with your school, check with your college to see if you're allowed to go and get this program and just get verified. Um, I don't know the details of it, but I'll let you play with it. Um, this is the one that I want. I hit get started, boom, it comes over here. You can start for the first time users over here. If you're a returning user and you just wanna do the download, you can click on this one. This one will actually jump in and give you, I think, tutorials first. So you can hit the I agree and download. Oh, oh, there we go. Uh, by downloading Unity, you confirm that you are eligible uh, to use Unity Personal or Student Edition per the terms of service. You can go and read them if you want to. Oh gosh, I'm about to knock stuff off my table. Um, you cannot make more than $100,000 annual gross revenues, which means you can't make more than $100,000 in a year off a video game that you created. If you do, you gotta go and buy a license. But if you're making 100 grand, I'm pretty sure you can go and afford that license, so. <laughs> <laughs> um, you have not raised funds, so you haven't done a GoFundMe account or a, a Kickstarter or BoostMe or whatever programs are out there now. And you're currently not holding a Unity Plus or a Pro plan, uh, and you have read and acknowledged. It's a contract. It is a terms of service. You still have to be over the age of 13 to even click this button. So if you're not over the age of 13, get a parent. Parents, if you your kid's asking to do this, go and do it. Hit OK. Hit I agree. Download it. Install it. Awesome. OK. Uh, let's see. Unity. I've actually got a couple of versions installed. I'm going to head over to my hub. And I'm just going to jump in and show you what this is. Um, so projects. Uh, okay, so you can see which versions you have installed. Click on the installs on, under the hub. And right here, I think this is the last stable version, 2019 3.4.f1. You can click add to get different versions. And these are pre-released, all right? This latest pre-release, this means it's not really supported as much as the stable latest version, which is right here. So if you want a stable version that's going to be there for quite some time, it's called long support or LS versions, get this version. And that will allow you to get support and ask questions and go to the forum and do all kinds of good stuff. But if you want the latest and greatest bleeding edge technology that sometimes messes up, grab this beta version. I've already got some on here, so I'm just going to go over here, hit a new project, and I'm going to select my version. Just like that. What do you want to do? Do you want to do 2D, which is a side scroller? Do you want to do 3D? You don't want to do 3D with extras? Do you want to do some high definition RP? Uh, universal rendering pipelines, stuff like that. I'm not going to actually start a program here because you are probably new and you want to learn. So click on learn. 
over here in Learn, they've got projects and they've got tutorials, and each one has step-by-step -step instructions on what to do. So, um, this one right here is the one I highly recommend. It's the one I've downloaded. It's the one that I've been playing with. Click on John Lemon's Haunted Jaunt, 3D Beginner. Uh, we can view the tutorial or we can open the project. What is this? You need to install version 19. Okay, fine. I thought that's the version that I had. Right. 2019.1 to open this project. Oh. Well, let's go to the installs. Let's click on add. 19.1 uh, is not available. I've got the 19.3. Hold on. Did that say I had to have the 19.1? Go back over to learn. That's not true, because I, I was doing it on the 19.3. Hmm. 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 Uh, view tutorial. Ah. Okay, here. It'll take you out to the, the website so you can see it. Uh, COVID-19 support all access and learning to help support you during these uh, these times we've committed to providing all the users with three months of complimentary access to the learning premiere <gasps> so while you're under lockdown while you're doing the the COVID um, stay in place shelter in place whatever it's called in your particular area go out here and join and log in for free free courses projects tutorials and creating unity uh, some quick problem solving for yeah, yeah 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 sign in with your unity idea oh gosh did I did I not sign in hold on let's go to a blank screen boink oh gosh now you can't see me at all can you <laughs> that's okay here we go just a second ladies and gentlemen Okay, I don't think that gives out any kind of personal information. Good, I think. Yeah, HH, uh, Heath Haskins, that's fine. Okay, so here is the details of what you're going to be doing. Uh, here are the different parts, and they're simple. They're step by step. So click on the first one, setting up the 3D Builder, and it will walk you through step by step on what you're supposed to do. Um, as you complete a step, like welcome to John Lemon's blah, 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 and here's how to do it. You click mark this step as uh, complete, and it gives you a little check mark, and you can watch your progress as you're going across the top. This little thing up here is kind of like a progress bar. I will show you where I'm at currently on the project, right here. Boom, I'm on the enemy's part, and I haven't finished it yet, but right there. See the little green bar? It shows you, shows you the progress as you're stepping through it. So like this one right here, I can mark this incomplete and that goes away, or complete, it goes up. This way you can continue and keep learning even if you get interrupted or you have to stop for school or if you have to go eat dinner, whatever the case may be, you can leave it there and come back, which is really cool. Now let's get over to the actual um, projects. I don't know that I've done one. Let's just add a new one. Why not? I want to do 3D, create. Wait, did it ask me for like a, a name or anything? I don't think it asked me for a name. <laughs> I'm gonna let this load up for just a second. Be right back. Oh, oh, oh! If you have uh, this thing pop up, make sure you allow it. This is your firewall. All right. As you can see here, it says that there's a new version that we can download. I'm gonna skip for now just so I can show you the interface. And here is the interface. This is the 3D version. This is where you would be placing your objects and stuff like that. Uh, you got your main sample scene or. Sample scenes. You got your main objects over here, which contain scenes, contain main cameras, stuff like that. You've got your assets down here, which uh, would be where you would place your prefabs and your objects and your textures and your animations, but you'd also put them into folders to make them more um, organized. And then you've got your inspector, which when you click on something, it pops up the, all the properties, just like a normal um, 3D, uh, not 3D, uh, normal SDK software development kit. You usually have your objects over on the left hand side, your project on the left hand side, assets down towards the bottom, your output and your console down towards the bottom, your 3D field is usually in the middle, and then you've got all your properties on the right. And I'm actually pointing to the wrong sides of the screen. Over there for the, the project, in the middle, down at the bottom for your assets and your, your things, up there at the top, in the middle, um, that is your scene, and then over here, your properties. I keep forgetting that I've got a camera on my face because I'm so excited to show you guys. 
Um, anyhow, this also integrates with, um, here, let's just create, uh, right click, create, and let's look for scripts, C sharp script. Uh, so I'm just going to, oh wait, uh, double click and just say new script, just like that. And if you try and double click and, oh, oh, come on. There it goes, Visual Studio is starting up. Visual Studios, um, I've said this before, Microsoft is banded with uh, Unity, or Unity banded with Microsoft, I'm not sure which, or, I mean, it might have been open source, who knows? I'm not here to teach you that. Oh gosh, I gotta sign in again. Hang tight. There we go, so it started, and I think I just hit something which I didn't mean to hit. Why did it do? Okay. Anyhow, um, over here on the right-hand side, same thing. This is a development environment. Um, I think toolbox is over here on your left-hand side. Uh, you can pin that and it becomes just like the other one. Um, your output is usually down here at the bottom, but I don't think it actually shows until it runs, but you're not going to run it because you're technically using Unity, not Visual Studios. So uh, you can scroll in and see that this is all C-sharp code which is the main language that uh, is used by um, Unity. You can use Visual Basic, I think, or Mono, but uh, that requires some other little tweaks and stuff. Anyhow, um, right here shows our assets, our scene, and then the new script.cs. So this is actually referring to um, this right here, which is our little scenes, okay? So inside here, we have your standard uh, system collections, Unity Engine, and collection, collections uh, dot generic. So that would be stuff like um, a bunch of elements at one time, types of elements. So, um, wait, I think I can do, um, oh gosh, it's been so long since I've done C uh, sharp. Int test equals new. Int dot new no new int gosh I have no clue I have not done this in so long anyhow I'm not I'm not gonna do this I'm I'm not gonna show you programming because there's too many tutorials and too much learning to go and do this stuff and I'm actually going back through all mine as well to learn it back all over again I think I've forgotten more programming languages than I have learned over my lifetime. That would be impossible because that would mean I'd learned. Uh, I would have forgotten negative numbers. So like I've, I know negative three numbers. Never mind. Not gonna get into it. Uh, anyhow, let's get out of here. Don't save anything. Jump back over here into Unity, and I think if we come up here to Window, Panels, Asset Store, Asset Manager. Hold on. Where's the uh, Where's the Learn section? We should be able to download. Hold on, let me take a quick peek and I'll find it. There we go, I think I found it. Okay, so uh, it wasn't actually inside Unity itself. Um, I went over here to the asset store and then search online for the assets, but that's not what we were looking for. I came over to learn.unity.com and there's a bunch of like create custom renders with past LARP, oh, LWRP. I don't know what that is. That's something new to me. Uh, anyhow, they've got projects where you can click on and they've got a ton of different projects down here at the bottom So let's do these are all premiums. Oh wait, wait, wait. I've got premium because of the coronavirus, don't I? Oh, maybe I can do this uh, VR beginner the escape room. So let's just click on this um, This project right here is three hours long All right, but it's got step by step on how to um, the other cool thing about Unity itself is you can compile and create games for Xbox, for Nintendo, for PlayStation, mobile games, Windows, Linux. There's all these different compilers, Android, iPhone, and I said iPhone. Um, there's all these different compilers, different things that Unity brings into one place so you can create games for any platform. Um, I think that's going to do it for this episode. I wanted to make sure that I expressed my absolute love for Unity and get it out in front of you. Make sure that you know that it's free. You can go and get it, go download it, and start learning today. While you're locked down, what else are you going to do? 
if you got some schoolwork, the schoolwork's not going to be that hard because everybody, even the teachers, are like locked down. They don't they don't want to do extra grading or work while this is this huge thing that's going on. And that could be true for like a lot of people, but I mean, it's scary. Go learn. Go learn some some programming. Go learn. Oh, I wanted to check this out. Can we do create um, BB script? We should be able to add a script. Hold on, can we just open that? I think that actually, never mind. Yeah. Right click, create. Testings, playables, assemblies, uh, sprites. Oh, we could create 2D sprites, 3D sprites, gooey skins, all kinds of good stuff. Anyhow, sorry. Um, I'm getting lost. I want to go like program and make a project now. <laughs> Not the purpose of this video. The purpose of this video is to get it in front of you. Link to Unity and to the download section is going to be in the description down below. Uh, check out everything that Unity has to offer and while you're on lockdown learn like go and make a new game And if you make a really good game or if you think that you've made a really good game come over to the discord and Let me know go into the developers section and t take a gander at everything that's there I've got three developers over there who will um, evaluate your code if you'd like a developer role inside my discord and it gives you a little purple name, gives you a little extra. I actually have uh, something that's called the Developers Council, which is a bunch of um, high-level, really smart guys that um, and girls who have come together and are master developers. They know how the games work. They know how to program. They know how to script. There's a lot of questions that can get answered over there at, side, at my Discord, uh, which is also in the description down below, discord.gg forward slash code prime 8. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below, do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end of the videos, but everybody knows that that's just a uh, call to action that I'm supposed to call. And, it, uh, you know, it's, it's up to you. If you want to subscribe, go for it. If not, that's cool too. Love you guys very much. Have a great night, and we will talk to you very soon. <sighs> what is this song? Outro.